Hello, this is Julia's Art Adventures, and I'm here today with another haul. Um, I went to a thrift store, and then I got home, and I was getting my stuff ready, and I realized that I had a few other things that I had gotten previously, just to here and there, so I've added those. So, anyway, um... Let me show you what I've got. I got some fabric, some paper items, some books, cards and stuff. So I won't take up too much of your time, but I hope you watch it and like it and subscribe to my channel, whatever. Anyway, the first thing I got here is this this um, burlap and it's a curtain or something. I'm not real sure, no? Looks like it's a table runner. It's really long. And it's got things, so yeah, it's a table runner. But I wanted the red burlap. And it's kind of dirty, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. But anyway, there's that. And then I got this fabric, which I thought was pretty cool. It's pretty kind of retro and this fabric which is the back of let's see if I can find <laughs> yeah look at that now if that's not 70s I don't know what is <laughs> anyway we got that and this is and that's pretty heavy, that, that last one I just showed you. That's pretty heavy, and this one is also pretty heavy. I think it's like a um, upholstery fabric, but that's what that one looks like. I thought that was pretty cool. I liked all the stripes and, and everything, and there's a bunch of that one. And let me show you these quickly. Um, I thought this was pretty. I think I got this at the a flea market. My daughter and I went to. And maybe I showed you this. Maybe I didn't. I apologize if I did. Um, but there's that. And there's quite a bit of that there. And this one I thought was really pretty. Maybe I did show you these. Because these, both of these I think came from the flea market. So sorry about that if I did. Then I got this, which wasn't marked, and I had to go to a guy. I said, so can someone put a price on this? Because my flea markets won't, or my thrift stores won't sell to you if it doesn't have a price. And they'll just put it behind the counter. I've lost a couple of things I wanted that way. So now I just find a guy, and I said, can somebody put a price on this? <laughs> and he did, and he gave it to me for $2. So I was like, sure, because there's a lot of it. And... Um, you can see how pretty that is. So I'll have to share some of that. That's a lot. And then this one I got, because um, I have to do some Bible journals for my sisters and my mother. So I found this, which I thought would work good in a Bible journal. So that's all the fabric. And then I got this, which I thought was really pretty. It's... um. Like a, well, I guess I paid 99 cents for this, but it's a wall hanging. I don't know what all that stuff is on it. Um, but I thought that was really pretty. Let me cut that off. I don't know why they have all those on there. But, um,. But yeah, I thought that was really pretty. I'm not sure what I'll use that for, but. And then I found this whole thing for $1.99, $2. And it is that kind, the fringe, the fringe lace. So um, I think that's awesome, but there's a whole thing of it here. So I'll be selling some of that. Then there's these little, little books, little book things. This one I thought was cute. Quiet Beginnings. 
and it has a bunch of Bible verses, again, for my Bible journals for my sisters. So, I thought that was cute. Then there's this little book, which is just the empty pages. So, I figured I can use, use that in something. Then I found this little postcards, assorted designs, and it says that there's four... Somewhere it said there were like four, four things of uh, four different. Where did I see that? It says assorted designs, but there's only two. And these are like paper. It's not really like a postcard. It's. I mean, I wouldn't put these in the mail. I don't think. Well, eh. there's that picture, and then there's that little picture of her feeding the squirrels. And that one, feeding the birds. Then I got this Mognay's Garden. And um, it's got a bunch of postcards in them. Of postbox collection. Hope I'm in frame here. Um, yep. Just a bunch of Monet paintings. the lily pads and then it comes with this little book also which has the same paintings but then it tells you something about them the water lilies yeah. the roses plate and chrysanthemums so there's that that was only 50 cents 49 cents yep 49 cents then I got these probably these are for my grandson um, it's the be a know-it-all science for fourth and fifth grades but fourth through sixth thousand questions and answers it's about science and this one is to challenge the mind for fifth grade and he's only seven and in second grade but he knows a lot of these things so hopefully he can learn a little bit more if I can get him to do it. <laughs> then I found these dachshund cards because I have dachshunds. So if you've ever heard my dogs barking in the background, that's, well, I hope they're all dachshunds. I didn't even turn it over. It's also 49 cents. It says eight cards and envelopes. That one's a beagle. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, the dachshund. Oh, a poodle. Labrador. Retrie golden retriever. Golden retriever and a German shepherd. Aren't those cute? But I saw that dachshund, and that's that's the reason I got that. But they're all really cute, and I like dogs, so that's okay. Then, I got a bunch of cards. I got this pet game. Now, I don't know, you probably have all seen this game. But, it's interesting. It's got wheat and the soybeans, corn, cocoa, rye, sugar, barley. <laughs> and I'm not sure how you play it. Now, I think we had this game when I was a kid. But don't remember playing it <laughs> and I got these playing cards these were two dollars um, yeah I thought so there were two different flowers there I like that and I got this little tiny deck of playing cards that are Dora the Explorer, which I thought were also very cute. Let's see, make sure you can see those. But there's the picture on the back of those. You can probably maybe hear my dogs barking upstairs. And I got this Kraken game. 
I don't know what that is, but I thought it was interesting and sounded like maybe it was a different language. Let me open that up. It's not even opened, so that's never been played. Can't get it open either. There we go. Creek and black spiced rum. Ooh. Those are interesting. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, but we'll find something. Let's see the hearts. Huh. And there's the, what the backs of the cards look like. But that's the black spiced rum. <laughs> so those are interesting. Then I got these Christmas cards, standard size playing cards, which has uh, little Christmas trees and little snowmen on a sled. <laughs> the Joker. Huh. Elves. Nope, oh, that Joker had, where'd it go? Santa. Huh. These are from 1986. Says right on the Joker. <laughs> the Queen. The Ace. <laughs> I think these are these are really cute. So Christmas Christmas cards. Then I got these survival cards. So let's see what those are. I haven't looked at them, but trees, different trees. Are these poisonous? I'm not sure. There are all these different trees, and on the back it tells you sticky sap of tree may be dried and chewed as gum. Guava. I'm not sure. Familiar food plants. Oh, it might be ones that you could eat if you're lost in the woods. <laughs> but those are interesting. Those are cool. Edible animals. Birds. Poisonous snakes. <laughs> so, anyway... Guess I'll have to look at those and make sure if I get lost in the woods, <laughs> I know something about them. Then I got these Hoyle cards with these butterflies. Just, I think I've seen these before, and I may even have a deck of these. I'm not for sure. <laughs> I have so many playing cards. I need to start making some packs. But I need to know if anybody would buy them. Then I got this Rook game. And its box is pretty tore up. And then there, these are not Rook. I'm not sure. These are look like just regular playing cards. Pretty old and pretty dirty looking. Yeah, these are just regular playing cards. Oh, look at that cool stamp. But, oh, I guess there was just one <laughs> one of those. That's, that's strange. And then here's the Rook cards, which are these. And these are very, very worn. Some of them, look at that. <laughs> I'll definitely do something with those. And I got these. What This is just a sales book. But it's for Jackie of all trades. Now I know I have no idea how old it is, but it looks old. 
So, got that. And these are not old. This is just a columnar pad, an analysis pad. Well, this one looks a little older, or it's just the paper's a different color. And this one's not, but that's what the pages look like there. And then there's this columnar rule pad. So that's pretty cool. I like those. Then I found this smash book for 99 cents. And something got stuck. Ah. I don't know what that is. Anyway, got something stuck on there. I have to get that off. But this is just a smash book that they used to make back in not oh, that long ago. Let me see if there's a date here. Mm, I don't see any. It's in a different language. <laughs> huh. Well, I'm sure you've all seen the smash books, so you know what they're like. So I can use these as pages or use these pages for for a journal or anything. This is kind of like what we do. Then I got this address book. And that's what it was stuck on. It's just an address book. Never been used, but I thought it was cute that I had the Q for quill, the P for pumpkin. It's got really cute pages. O for owl, M for maple sugar. So there's that. Then I did find this um, for 99 cents. It's just one of those, what is that called, ladder? Ladder ribbons that I'll be using for some something. And oh, this is another thing I found for $2. I got this at the flea market, and there's four decks of cards. You can see. Hopefully, you can see all those. And there's two pheasants and then two flowers. Different kinds. So, come in this cool box. <clears throat> and the rest are books. I got this one, the Modern Family Cookbook. And it's got those really cool pages and it's dated 1968. But I liked it because it has the ingredients are in bread, which I thought was very interesting. So, mmm. That chocolate cake. Anyway, there's not a whole lot of pictures in it, but there are a few. And then I found Things to Make and Do. It's a kid's book. And the copyright is 1973. But it has really cute images in it like that the dancing doll <laughs> eggheads drawing and painting animal miniatures cooking just all kinds of stuff kid book oh, shadow puppets <laughs> so thought that was cool I got my book of fairy tales and fables. I thought that cover was so pretty. It says Christmas 1976 to Shelley from Aunt Carol. And I don't, there's no other date. So right to the contents, but it's got some pretty cute images in it too.
Dogs do do that. Chase after the cats. Those are cute little ducks and roosters. Or cute rabbit. So I like that one. And I got the Coates and Clark sewing book. Newest methods from A to Z. And I did not pay $5. I paid 99 cents. That's my thrift store. And this one is dated 1967. And it just has all these. I thought these would be cute for a sewing journal. And then I got this, my first dictionary. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's dated. 1990 is not that old, but I figured it's cute and it's got cute images. And if my grandson doesn't use it, I will. <laughs> my other grandson, who's three, he can use it when he gets a little older. Then I found this one <clears throat> for 99 cents. And it's from 1950 to 1960. It's called This Fabulous Century. And it is dated uh, 1970. So I thought this was cool. But it talks a lot about a bunch of the boys. I don't know these boys. <laughs> but I think it's a little bit to do with everything. But the 50s and 60s. Does anybody remember this? And how many people can you get in a bug or a telephone booth? <laughs> anyway, that was... Awesome. And there's this McCall sewing book. And it is dated 1968. I liked it because it's pink. <laughs> Cute little images there. There's a lot of them. It tells you all about the pattern envelope and how to read it and what everything is. That's funny. How to read your patterns. And I might have to sew once I look through this. Besides paper. That's all I, that's all I sew right now. <laughs> Machine parts. I don't want this to get too long, so we'll move on. And then these I might have showed you too. I got this pair of soap. I think these might have come from the flea market. But it's a Muncie's Magazine advertising section. But it's really old. Um, I don't. Ooh, 18, April 1898. Muncie's Magazine. I think I paid a dollar or two for this. 1898. No wonder it's such bad shape. But we don't care. <laughs> there it is, April 1898. Artists and their work. Volume 19, number one. <laughs> I got that. And I got this old book. It's Overall Boys. That is pretty old, too, and I did not pay $5. I think this might have come from the flea market also. It is 1905.
But isn't that cute? It's like before the Sally, Dick, and Jane. We work, we play, we eat, we sleep. <laughs> we do all sorts of things. Going camping. <laughs> okay. One more book. Well, it's not really a book. This is a brownie. The Girl's Guide to Girl Scouting. And I'm not sure. What it is. I just saw it and grabbed it. It's like individual little things, but I noticed it wasn't ever used. So I thought these would make good pages. And this came from the thrift store. So the brownies or the younger Girl Scouts, right? Brownies. I think so. The snacks. Household elf, <laughs> dancing, pets, letter boxer, letter boxing is fun, making games, fair play, my best self, hiker, bugs, first aid. But you get the idea. Painting. <laughs> this is the handbook. But anyway, that's all I got for you today, guys. Um, please like my video and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. And leave me a comment. Okay. See ya.